Your silence is colder than Himalayan monkey's butt. I know what's missing. We'll have a team building party to cheer up our work environment. Hey, I know it smells like melting brains in here, but we really need to finish the project before the deadline. Can't we just order some pizza and booze and like, you know, just call it a day? No drinking in the office. Party it is then. I don't know one thing that could strike more dread in my heart than team building events. Do I really have to take public bets with coworkers and bosses to form naked relationships? Oh, wait, I'm not in Japan. And yes, that's a thing. It's okay. I just have to catch that one oversized coworker for the trust test game. I hope our company's health insurance covers this. Friday evening comes around and we meet up at our boss's residence for an authentic fireplace feast, as they call it. Although our architecture team was small, people from other departments were there as well. All gather around the fire pit with a huge cauldron suspended above the flames. The more the merrier, I guess. I have to admit, this cauldron fist in late autumn is quite the original idea coming from our bosses. You know what's even better? Drinking spirit juice at our boss's expense. Here, have some. <laughs> don't get too tipsy though. Girls don't hold their booze too well. You think? How did those two even get together? Oh, the hours passed and the jovial atmosphere was infectious, not gonna lie. I can't say I was completely sober, but let's be serious. How much damage a half glass of red wine can do? Definitely not enough to make you think that doing the tiki dance half naked around the fire is normal. <laughs> the installations department sure is having fun. Wait, where's our department? Well, our manager is caught in an off-work discussion about work. As for TNC... TNC? Sia, what the fuck are you talking about TNC? I don't even know what that means. You're not making any si- I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess that happens when you decide to be authentic and drink while recording a story <laughs> about drinking. And yes, TNC as in terms and conditions. They really needed some. Bro, have you seen the girl from Constructions? She is smoking hot. That chair she sits in every day, I wish it was my face. Who, oh, the G-girl? Yo, you're into that god fox? You'll have to simp hard for that one. The last guy she was with spent quite a time on her. You'll have to impress her, I tell you. I know, I know. How about I burn a heart shape on her lawn? Goth girls like fire and stuff, right? <laughs> what in the world are you talking about? Don't do something stupid and take it easy with your drinks. You two are barely even standing on your feet. Uh-oh, the fun police is here. Don't worry your pretty little head. We're perfectly fine. <laughs> I rolled my eyes and went to the bathroom to vent my frustration in the mirror. Fun police, they say. Ha, I'll see who's having fun if you really burn that lawn. I get out and try to make my way to the cauldron when I see T also walking towards it. Apparently, that's set on something. Wait, pfft, don't tell me he's approaching that girl in the state he is. <laughs> This should be fun. As he got closer to the cauldron, he seemed to slow down more and more. <laughs> Did he get cold feet? By now, Tim was swaying on his feet, but nobody expected what this goof could get himself into. He stopped near the fire pit, lost his balance, and tumbled into the steaming cauldron of hot stew. Time seemed to freeze as Emby and the others rushed to drag him out and pull off his soaked and scalding clothes. He had burns on his hips, hands, and legs, but somehow he was still laughing. <laughs> I guess Puss does that to you. We rushed him to the nearby hospital where nurses and doctors were dumbfounded by our ignorance. When he sobered up, it seemed that he remembered falling into the cauldron and not feeling any pain in the moment, but... I don't get it. What was I doing near it in the first place? Oh, I know that. You were trying to ask for the god chick's address. You know, the long thing. Oh. oh. True and I had a lot of fun making these videos, and this is just one half of our collab. If you want to see the other part, go check out the video we did on True's channel. My story might have been hot, literally, but his is even spicier, so check it out.